any comfortable seated posture. Spine comfortably erect. Shoulders relaxed. Sitting just a bit taller. Something that can bring a smile to your face. Think of something that something that you feel good about. Something happened. Something that you saw, you heard. That brings a natural smile to your face. Perhaps a child, a flower, an old song. Life is um, precious. And uh, the time is limited. <clears throat> for everyone. And we spend way too much of that. Thinking about what had happened. What could have happened might have happened or thinking about what could happen or should happen and we don't very paradoxically don't pay attention to life as it is happening right and life happens only right now even your thoughts about the past or the future happen only now, but they are capturing our attention to a point where we lose the sense of life that is, that is right now. And here we are practicing to live the life without being always being distracted. So we might all live a fuller life. So with that, attend to the breaths. Palms to the heart center, Namaskaranka. Tilt your head forward. Gently open your eyes. Inhaling, arms by the side, palms going up to the thumb. Exhaling, palms coming down to the chest, looking down. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling, exhale, inhaling, 
exhaling. Inhaling, looking up. Exhaling. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Release. Lie down on your back. Hug your knees, rock back and forth. Feeling any tension on your back, relieving the tension. Massaging the Lord or massaging the muscles that are holding the spine. And settle back down, hugging the knees. Settle back down, hugging the knees. Now relax the knee a bit and feel the breath. Keeping the knees. Um, or hands on your knees, but relax the hold of the knees so your abdomen can move as you inhale. And now hold your knees as tightly as you can toward the chest. And as you hold your knees closed, your abdomen is not as free to move. Now feel the breath. Release the legs. Bend your knees. Feet on the mat, close to each other, feet close to each other. Right leg up toward the ceiling. Inhaling, bring the leg down to the mat, one inch of the mat. Exhaling, bring the leg back up as much as you can. Ten rounds. Nine more rounds. Feeling the posture in your legs. Keep the knees straight as much as you can. Feeling the posture in your thigh muscles, abdomen, lower back. Even your upper back, neck, you might feel the posture. Or as you move. You're not just doing it for the counts, but you're trying, you're doing it to increase the awareness of your own body. You're uh, increasing the capacity to observe your own body. After completing 10 rounds, place the right foot next to the left foot. Take a deep breath, exhale. Straighten, uh, straighten up both legs down and then bend the knees again. Left leg up towards the ceiling. Next inhalation, left leg going down to the mat, one inch off the ground, exhaling, left leg going up and toward the head and nine more rounds keep the ankle bent like as if you are standing in tadasana you're not pointing the toes you're keeping the leg as with the 90 degree between your foot and shin 
bend the knee only if you need to, otherwise keep the knee straight. After completing, place the left foot next to the right foot and straighten both legs down to the mat. Take a deeper exhale. Right leg up as much as you can. Now, point your toes toward the shin by bending the ankle. Point your toes toward your shin. Now, with your heel pointing up toward the ceiling, make a circle with the heel five rounds. As big or as small a circle as you can. After completing, right, release the right leg down to the ground. Take a deep breath, exhale. Left leg up. Bend your ankle so your toes are pointing toward the knee. And then five circles with the heel making a circle with the knee straight. As, as comfortably straight as you can. With no aggression, you can stop at any time that you are feeling uncomfortable. After completing five rounds, release the leg. Take a deep breath, exhale. Hug your knees, rock back and forth. Release any tension you might have built on your back. Even though these leg raises are more about the lower leg, if not all the joints and muscles are working as they should, the tension goes up the back. Settle back down, release the legs. Roll onto your stomach. Bhujangasana practice. Feet close together, toes pointing to the back. Chin down on the mat. Palms by the side of the chest. Elbows close to the body. Now watch your breath. And how is the body responding to the breaths with your abdomen and chest constrained by the floor. Remember, our practice is awareness, and Hatha Yoga is a tool to know ourselves. Inhaling, Bhujangas. Exhaling, Adho Feel the rush of blood to the face. <clears throat> you don't have to push yourself too much, just an inversion to feel the sense of blood rushing to the face. Inhaling right foot forward between the palms. Left foot forward, next exhalation. Press the palms together. 
you can keep the knee slightly bent, not a problem. Come to Ardha Uttanasana, halfway up. Look at look at your thumbs. Bring the upper body parallel to the ground and you're looking at the thumbs. Now bend your knees and transition to Utkata Asana. Three, two, one. Inhaling, straighten up. Exhaling, Namaskar Mudra. Three deep breaths. Release the arms. Come to front of the mat. Tadasana. In Tadasana, the crown of your head is going toward the ceiling. Your feet rooted. Strong legs, as in kneecaps pulled up. Not too aggressively, but to bring a solidity to the foundation, the legs being the foundation for standing erect, standing tall like a mountain, shoulders relaxed. Arms hanging by the side, your fingers reaching for the ground, palms facing the sides of your thighs. And the middle fingers reaching for the ground. Chest broad, broad chest. Soft gaze directly ahead, chin parallel to the ground. If we were to draw a line vertically, the crown of the head, the line goes through your neck, spine, central spine, between the chest sections, down to your abdomen, down between the seat bones, down through the leg, between the knees and between the ankles, down to the crown. Since we spend so much time sitting down, practicing Tadasana itself is a very good practice. Namaskar, Mudra. Three rounds of Surya Namaskara begin.
paying attention to every breath and the experience of every posture. Standing relaxed. Let's approach Parivitta Triponas, right? It's a twisting posture. Let's practice few postures as preparation for Parivitta Trikonasana. It is a forward bend and a twist combination. It also requires a good amount of uh, hamstring stretch and a sense of solidity on in your legs as foundation. It is also a balancing posture. So there are lots of layers to Parivirta Trikonasana practice. Let's prepare, that, prepare for that. Ardha Uttana practice. You can start with the hip with the part feet. Hands on your waist. Solidify your legs. Strong legs rooting through to the ground <clears throat> and the crown of the head extending up. Or stretching up. With that. Bend from the hips. As much as you can, keeping the back the upper body the same as if you're standing tall. Only bend as much as you can with the knee straight. You may not be able to bring the upper body parallel to the crown. That is OK. But only bend with the entire upper body, head, neck, spine, as if it is standing straight. Five. Four. Three. Two. One, inhaling, come up. Release the arms. Now, if you are keeping your knees straight and if you're bending as much with the upper body, upper um, spine erect, and the neck and spine in a straight line, you would have felt a good amount of stretch on your hamstring, the back of your thighs. Or depending on your body, you might feel other parts. Or you might feel the passion in other parts. <clears throat> now, to get a different sense of this, we will first do this with a slightly knee bent. Hands on your waist. Now, keep the upper body strength or lengthened up. Slightly bend your knees and now bring the upper body parallel to the ground. Bend from the hips. Bend your knees, not a problem. Keep your knees soft and you can even bend. And bring the upper body parallel to the ground. Now stretch your arms to the front. Shoulder width apart, palms facing each other. Gaze at your thumbs. And bring even weight onto your feet and allow the fingers to go away from you toward the front wall. Your spine is lengthening, seat bone going toward the back wall, fingers going toward the front wall, five deep breaths, five, four, three, two, one. Hands on your waist, inhaling, come up. 
release arms. Now we bend the knees to kind of sort of protect the hamstring. So now we will keep the knee straight, but you don't force yourself to bring the upper body parallel to the ground. You bend only as much as you can forward, keeping the spine and the neck in a straight line. Take a deep breath, exhale. Hands on your waist. Now strong legs. Bend from the hips forward as much as you can. If you can bring it halfway down, that's great. Otherwise, keep the knee straight, bend as much as you can. Even if it is 30 degree bend, that is fine. And now arms up, arms parallel to the ground, palms facing each other, and gaze at your thumbs and allow the fingers to move away from you. And feel the stretch on your hamstrings and the entire back of the body and back of the leg. Five, four, three, two, one. Hands on your waist. Inhaling, come on. Release arms. Take a deep breath, exhale. Now let us uh, stretch the inner thighs as well. Um, separate your feet. Broad stance, three feet, broad stance. Toes pointing directly forward is fine. Hands on your waist. Now slightly keep the spine erect and slightly bend the right knee, slightly bend the right knee. And shift your weight onto your right foot just a bit. Now you feel, you keep the spine straight. It's just you're bending the right knee just a bit. And now you will feel the stretch on the left inner thigh. Are you feeling the stretch on the left inner thigh? Yes, okay. Now, if you want a more intense stretch, you can keep the spine straight, bend the knee right, right knee just a bit more. As much as you bend the right knee, you can feel the left inner thigh stretch. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling, straighten up. Take a deep breath, exhale. Now bend your left knee and shifting your weight toward the left foot. Keep the spine straight and feel the inner thigh stretch on the right side. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling straight now. Take a deep breath, exhale. Now rotate the right foot toward the front. Virabhadrasana, second variation. Bend your knee, right knee. And you um, adjust the feet position, inline stance. Bring the right knee on top of the right ankle. And now you're facing the, you're squarely facing the left wall both hips and both shoulders facing the left, or as you started. Arms up, relax the shoulders. As much as you bend your right knee, you will feel the inner thigh stretch on the back. Gaze at your right fingertips. Five, four, three, two, one, place the left palm on the side of the left leg. Right arm up toward the ceiling. Palms facing the back wall. Slide back in Parshvavira. Slide back toward the back wall. Toward the back wall. 
be aware of all the changes that are happening. Five deep breaths, five. Your right fingers are reaching toward the back wall, left fingers reaching down toward the mat. Three, two, one. Inhaling straight now. Hands on your waist. Rotate your right foot in, left foot toward the back. Take a deep breath, exhale. Bend your left knee and feel the inner thigh stretch. Keep the spine straight, arms up parallel to the ground. Relax the shoulders. Bring the left knee on top of the left ankle and gaze at your left fingertips. Five deep breaths, five. Four, three, two, one. Place the right palm on the side of the right leg, left palm up, left palm facing toward the left leg. Slide your, sorry, right leg. Slide your right fingers down the right leg. Parshvavirasana. Sanjay, you can place the right palm on the right leg and slide the right fingers down. Yes. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling, straighten up, hands on the waist. Straighten up the knee. Rotate your left foot in. Walk your feet comfortably closer and stand relaxed, arms relaxed. Release the arms. Take a deep breath, exhale. Now let us repeat Ardha Uttanasana. See if there is any difference. Feet hip width apart. And we're going to keep the knee straight. Hands on your waist. Growing taller. Inhale, exhaling, bending from the hips. Keep the neck, spine in a straight line as if you're standing straight up. Bend, keep the knee straight, strong legs. You will feel the intense stretch on the back. Now arms to the front. Parallel to each other, palms facing each other. Look at your palms and let the fingers move away from you. Feel the intense stretch on the back of the body. Five, four, even weight on your feet. Three, two, one. Hands on your base, inhaling. Now, to the extent that your inner thigh muscle tightness was coming in the way of your forward bend, having practiced Virabhadrasana, second variation, and Parshva could help you in the forward bend. <clears throat> take it, release your arms, take a deep breath, exhale. Let us uh, do um, a forward bend and a twist from Prasarita stance before we do Parivirta. Separate your feet, broad stance. Hands on your waist. Inhale, growing taller. Exhaling, bending forward halfway. Now allow the arms to hang loose. You can bend the knees if you need to, to place the palms close to each other on the mat. You can bend the knees if you need to. Now stack the hands on, on top of each other with the right hand on top of the left. Take the right hand to the right waist. Not much weight 
on the left hand, you're not resting on the left hand. You're still using your back muscles to keep your upper body up. Now rotate your right shoulder up. And right arm up. And gaze at your right thumb. Five deep, feel the twist in the posture, the spinal twist. Three, two, one. Bring the right hand back down. Place the left hand on top of the right hand. Left hand on the left waist. Rotate your left shoulder up towards the ceiling. Right hand on the ground, just as a guide. Your shoulders pushing away from the mat. Shoulders aligned, left arm up. And gaze at your left thumb. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Left palm down on the mat. Hands on your waist. Inhale, come up. Bring your feet comfortably closer. Release the arms. Stand relaxed. Three deep breaths. Front of the mat. Bring your feet six inches apart. Not, not broader than <clears throat> your hips, hands on your face. Take a deep breath, exhale. <clears throat> now we are going to practice Ashwatthana. We'll do Ashwatthana on both sides. This is a progressively deeper forward bend from Ardha Uttana we practiced. Walk your right foot back to two and a half feet back. Now you're still facing squarely the front. Your hips are facing the front, shoulders, your chin, eyes. Your back foot is slight, not exactly pointing directly to the front. It is off slightly to this, turned slightly toward the right side. But feel the posture on both feet. Keep the balance on both feet. Now, lengthening the spine up the crown of the head goes up toward the ceiling as you inhale. Exhaling, keep the legs strong, bending forward from the hips. As much as you can. Now keep the left knee straight for sure. Now make the micro adjustments to bring the weight distribution even between the legs. So both legs are engaged in the posture. Protecting the left hamstring, strong legs. Arms toward the front, look to the front. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Hands on your waist. Inhaling, come off. Walk forward. Release the arms. Stand relaxed. 
Now you might have felt the left hamstring stretch a bit more than Ardha Uttana. And if you did not, those who did not find a stretch, if you want a more intense stretch, you can dig the heel of the front leg in and lift the toes and the ball of the foot up. Hands on your waist, feet six inches apart. Walk your left foot back, two and a half feet back. Hands on your waist. Now bring both legs to be strongly giving you the base for the forward bend. Keeping both legs engaged, right knee kept always straight in the practice. Inhaling, growing taller, exhaling, bending from the hips, keeping the neck, spine, in a straight line. Keep the right knee straight. Feel strong legs. Feel the posture on both legs. Arms to the front. Five, four, three, two, one. Hands on your waist. Inhale and come out. Walk forward, release the arms. Take a deep breath, exhale. Now, are you with the Trikonasana? As I said, it is a balancing posture. It is a forward bend. It is a twist. So we are going to put all of these together. Start with the feet six inches apart. Three deep breaths. Hands on your waist. Walk your right foot back two and a half feet. Now, feel the posture strongly on both the legs. Inhaling, crown of the head reaching toward the ceiling. Exhaling, bending forward from the hips. Allow the arms to hang loose. And those who can reach your fingers on the ground, keep the left knee straight, so no bending the knees. Both legs are active. If you're not able to reach the ground, grab hold of your left shin. If you're not able to reach the ground, grab hold of your left shin. In fact, grab hold of your left chin, even if you are able to reach the ground. Right hand gripping the left shin and left hand, take the left hand to the left waist, left hip. Rotate the left shoulder up, keeping the balance, strong legs, Strong legs on both legs, knees straight. Rotate the left shoulder up as much as you can. Now shoulders are becoming vertical and then finally lift the left arm up. Your crown of the head is moving away from the seat bones, straightening up the spine and twisting with the next exhalation just a bit more. Five. Four, three, two, one. Left hand coming down to the left shin. Hands on your waist. 
slightly bend the left knee, inhaling, come up. Walk forward. Release arms, stand relaxed. Three deep breaths. Feet six inches apart. Hands on your waist. Walk your left foot back two and a half feet. And bring the weight distribution even on both feet. Growing taller for the next inhalation. Exhaling, bending from the hips as much as you can. Keep the right knee straight. Allow the arms to hang loose. And grab hold of your right shin with both hands. Now look to the front and flatten the back and extend the spine keeping both legs actively involved. Now, the left hand continuing to hold the right shin, hand, right hand on the right waist. Rotate your right shoulder up. Bringing the shoulders vertically aligned, keeping the right knee straight throughout the practice. And then finally, right arm up. Both legs active, spine extending and twisting. Five deep breaths, gazing at your right thumb. Four, three, two, one. Right hand reaching the right shin, hands on your waist. Inhaling, come with the right knee slightly bent, walk forward. Release the arms. Lie down on your back. Hug your knees, rock back and forth. Side to side. back down, proceed to Shavasana. Relaxed and alert to every breath. Relaxing the entire body. And if the mind is already rushing ahead to other things, allow it to rest watching the breath. Gently bring it back. It is okay. Life is right here.
everything will happen as they do. For now, relaxing with the awareness of the breath that is right here and now. So fortunate to be able to receive this breath. And to have the breath show up in our awareness. The breath visiting in our awareness. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Gently come to sitting. Take your time. Blessed to have this breath. Take your hands back. Inhale, growing taller, exhaling, bending forward. Thank you, Mother. Inhale. Grab your palms. Massage your closed eyes. Gently blink your eyes open. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.